which of the following statements is are sufficient to answer the question now from the options you can understand that this is data sufficiency question right like option one says statement one alone sufficient to answer the question and statement two alone is not sufficient to answer the question and then question also clearly says which of the following statements are sufficient so a sufficiency question here now what is this question here is s the mother of m is s the mother of m remember this is a very important type of question in data sufficiency what is different about this the question starts with is i have also mentioned this in the video data sufficiency video that whenever the question starts with is was you know <coughs> you know with like is was you know that answer will be either yes or no these are like true or false questions like do you have your <coughs> exam tomorrow it's either answer is yes or no right i mean of course you can say that i have my exam on uh, 16th of october but then is s the mother of m what will be the answer yes s is the mother of m no s is not the mother of m we are not worried about what actually the relationship is is s the father in law of m or is s the granddaughter of m we don't care about that for this question when you say is s the mother of m you should either say yes or you should say no and remember no also is a correct answer even if we say no is the answer it is correct like like for example if somebody says uh, <coughs> you know did you attend the class you will say no i did not attend the class is that a wrong answer even that's a correct answer right you did not attend so you are saying no so the point is remember that no also is a correct answer in such cases i mean it can be false the statement can be false many a times what happens i mean with most of the students is that they get the answer as no using the given statements and say that neither of one nor two is sufficient but understand you getting the answer no shows that you have got the answer so which means you have got the answer so you cannot say neither one not statement two is sufficient all right let us let us solve this that will give you uh, more clarity so is as the mother of m statement one m is the sister of q so according to statement one uh, m is the sister of q m is the sister of q so female clearly and sister of q q is the sister of r q is the sister of r so q is also female sister of r and r is the daughter of s r is the daughter of s remember m is sister of q q is sister of r r is daughter of s so clearly m q r all three are siblings and all of them are females right sister sister daughter so all three are sisters right m q r all are sisters siblings and they are daughter of s now a question here is is s the father or mother see r is the daughter of s means m is also the daughter of s yes or no all three of them belong to the same parent but then m is the daughter of s is s the mother of m not clear it depends on the gender of s right gender of s is not known to us s can be male or female both are possible so the point is from statement 1 we are not able to answer this question look at this diagram and tell me is s the mother of m i don't know s can be the mother of m or s can be the father of m can you say yes or no for this one can you give the answer as yes or no look at this is s the mother of m can you say yes no because if you say yes you are saying that s is female which we don't know is as the mother of him can you say no how do you say no because if you say no you are trying to say that s is the father but do you know that s is the father no so basically because of the gender of s being not available here we cannot answer the question using statement 1 alone so statement 1 alone is not sufficient look at statement 2 statement 2 says m is the daughter of l n is the daughter of l <coughs> l who is the sister of v m is the daughter of l who is the sister of v who is sister of v means what l is the sister of v now if you look at statement 2 <coughs> m is the daughter of l and l is the sister of v now there is no <coughs> sorry there is no mention of s at all in statement 2 there is no mention of s at all right is anything given about s here no nothing is given about s so is <coughs> as the daughter is as the mother of m we don't know statement 2 is insufficient so even statement 2 alone is not sufficient so one alone is not sufficient two alone is not sufficient and we, you very well know that when the statements independently fail to give the answer we go for combination now try to combine the statements if you combine the statements what happens see from statement 1 we know that m is the daughter of s from statement 2 we know that m is the daughter of l so clearly s and l are husband and wife yes or no statement 1 says m is the daughter of s statement 2 says m is the daughter of l so s and l have to be married and we now also know that l is female if l is female obviously s would be male so in the earlier case where the gender of s was not known to us i mean we were worried about the gender of s now it's very clear 
because s and l are married to each other and l is female s has to be a male person so by combining the two statements by combining the two statements what do we get to know look at this part now the question is is s the mother of m is s the mother of m no we are able to say no yes or no how are we able to say no because we know that s is the father of m yes or no is s the mother of m you will say no why are you saying no because you have got to know that s is the father of m how did you get to know that s is the father of m using the two statements together which means you are able to give the answer as no for this question using both the statements together and hence you should say both the statements one and two together are sufficient to answer the question are you able to follow no can be a correct answer remember overall is as a mother of m you will say no now because it is no don't mark neither one nor two is sufficient i mean that's a fact s is not the mother of m what is your fault in that s is not the mother of m so which means you are able to answer this question and hence you should mark the answer as option 5 both one and two together are sufficient to answer the question is that clear to all of you i think still vandana and arshdeep have mentioned the answer as option 4 answer is not option 4 answer is option 5 <coughs> saurabh singh says but sir statement to alone is sufficient how is statement to alone sufficient saurabh <coughs> tell me how do you say statement to is sufficient from statement to i don't know anything about s what i only know that m is the daughter of l l is the sister of v the question is saying is as the mother of m my answer will be i don't know from the given data i don't know is as the mother of m or not acha you would say because l is the mother of m s is not the mother of m okay hold on i think he has got a point is as the mother of m <coughs> okay so sorab you have got a point hold on hold on guys i think it should not be option 5 look at it once again is as the mother of m <coughs> here we know that l is the mother of m so is as the mother of m no I think yes. Statement two alone is sufficient. Okay, so thank you for pointing that out. Sorry, I think even I've got it wrong. Answer should be option two. Statement two alone is sufficient. Yeah, statement two alone is sufficient. Why statement two alone sufficient? Okay, I was looking at S not being available, but the point is because I mean, let us forget about the connection now. From statement two, we know that <coughs> L is the mother of M. So is as the mother of M? No, because L is the mother of M. So I think statement two alone is sufficient. Good. So answer should be option two. 